Hello friends, uh, my name is Raza Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic Responsibility Assignment Matrix or short form is RAM. Friend, uh, this is a very important topic with respect to project management or uh, PIMBOK. Uh, with respect to project management this topic is very important especially if you are a uh, if you are planning to give exam of uh, project management in uh, in the university or uh, you are planning to give exam of PMP so this topic is very important friend and uh, at least four to five questions you will definitely definitely see in the exam which are related to responsibility assignment matrix or RAM friend if you are a professional project manager so again this topic is very important for you to understand that how you can use this concept in professional or practical life so friend uh, let's uh, start first of all I would request to please subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you so let's uh, start responsibility assignment matrix a short form is RAM see friend here uh, whenever we talk about a project in project management so responsibility or resources are very important this is very important that how you can utilize the resources uh, how you plan the resources according to your requirement <coughs> friend as per the definition of uh, PMBOK project management body of knowledge project definition is that project is a temporary thing which gives some unique output okay so that is called as uh, the definition of project and resource means who is resource as per the definition resource means that resource who will be utilized to accomplish some task resource can be anything like for example human resource hardware resource software resource time money all these are the type of resources so friend responsibility assignment means it describes the participation by various organizations people and role in completing tasks or deliverables for a project it is used by program manager in clarifying roles and responsibilities in cross-functional teams projects and processes see friend here whenever we talk about the project management see friend we have lots of projects and projects have lots of tasks and to perform the task we need resources so we need a clear vision that who is assigned to that task and who is responsible for the task basically friend with respect to pro project management point of view this is very important that responsibility should be defined properly everyone knows that who is responsible for what and what is the role and responsibilities basically you can say that responsibility matrix means a role and response a role and responsibility who has what role and what is his responsibility in the project so basically it is very important that role and responsibility should be defined at a very early stage and the project management should have the clear vision that who will be performing work okay so that is called as the concept of responsibility assignment matrix you just imagine the responsibility assignment matrix or RAM in short form as simply uh, you can say an excel sheet or it can be a word document as well in which it has been defined that for example if there are five tasks for example software development uh, quality assurance and project management let's assume so software development is the responsibility of software engineer quality assurance task is the responsibility of QA resource project management is the responsibility of project manager okay so in that way first of all you should know that what is the uh, how many tasks are there in the project and who is responsible for what why because 
when we define the responsibilities according to the project we can uh, define the accountability as well see when we know that who is responsible for what we can know we can say that this person is accountable for that task as well so why this is important to describe or define the responsibility and assignment matrix through which we can define the accountability as well okay so that is called the concept of responsibility assignment matrix friend now uh, what are the main component of responsibility assignment matrix friend there are four uh, components of responsibility assignment matrix first one is the responsibility that who is completing the task who is responsible who is assigned for the task for example there is a task uh, there is a task software uh, for example software designing let's suppose so software designing is the responsibility of software designer resource for software designer so we define that this is the task and this is the person who is responsible for that then the next one is the accountable accountable means friend who is making decision and taking actions on the task see friend here uh, let's suppose let's suppose you can say for example software designing is the uh, software designer is responsible for the task of software designing and accountability accountability you can say software designing manager who he is responsible for who he is accountable for that because he is taking the decisions consulted is another uh, component or c so who will be communicated with regarding decisions and task like for example you are taking some consultation you are taking some uh, taking information you are taking some discussion with someone so whenever for example you can let's a uh, simply example if you are uh, if you are developing the uh, software development uh, you are working for software development and you are taking a uh, discussion you are discussing with database engineer as well so you can say i have taken the consultation from the database engineer okay then next and the last one is the informed informed means friend the person who you are informing about the decisions and actions during the project you can imagine this person as a reporting manager okay for example uh, let's suppose you have defined that the quality assurance about the status of quality assurance and decisions you will be informing to the uh, about it to the let's suppose to CEO or CTO so, okay uh, for software uh, development you will be informing about to the software development manager about the project you will be informing to the program manager okay so in that way you can define the uh, roles and responsibilities responsible means are accountability accountable a consulted c and informed i okay responsible who is completing the task accountable who is accountable for the task consulted from which you taken the information you taken the consultation informed the person who you are informing about the decisions okay so responsible are accountable a consulted c informed i okay now next one is uh, just want to show you a very uh, simple uh, example of uh, responsibility assignment matrix here you just see you can see from here there are multiple tasks for example let simply uh, you can s imagine that you mention the task here of a project like input failure data so there is a person maintenance supervisor he is accountable a means accountable maintenance analyst is c c means consulted maintenance planner means i i is means that you have informed to that person maintenance technician are like responsible what does it mean is that means friend that inputting uh, entering the failure of data is basically the responsibility of maintenance technician okay maintenance supervisor is the accountable person 
like he is responsible if there is any failure if there is any problem in the entering of data maintenance analyst has been consulted like he has the things have been discussed with him uh, the information has been received from him <coughs> and this maintenance planner is the informed person like whatever the decisions have been taken it has been informed to maintenance planner okay another example just want to show you for example um, this is another example of uh, resp responsibility assignment matrix like there is another task provide testimony this is the task and the role is expert manager and consultant so expert is responsible for the provide testimony manager is accountable for that task and consultant is accountable as well so you can see responsible are a for accountable c for consulted and i for informed okay so that is called another example of uh, the responsibility assignment matrix so friend um, i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thank you thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side thank you